of those, it's almost like when you go home and your mom's cooked your favorite meal and you hear those fan chants out there. It's just the same feeling. Okay, dash in RB. Eluding Chi Bop. Will manage to find Chung Hai. Chi Bop finally does hound him down, making that a one for one. Swings back out. Peaks mid, doesn't see anything in the meantime. DRX have completely enveloped the C site. A little bit of post point util thrown down with a nano swarm as they look to exit. The timing here from moves pretty decent, but he can't get any kills. Only tag Zest down to about 54. The nano swarm gonna be used instantly. Stacks trying to make it out. Falls low. As Chi Pop goes on the hunt, moves his way up into Cubby. Gets spotted, take gets dome. Oh, but the kills are there. The diffuse is being stuck. Mako can't get here in time. He will find a couple eliminations for sure. As yep, gets two, but Maru will win their first pistol round here in this best of five. This is a great start for Mario, and they do a lot of the right things, trying to get ahead of... You saw them try this a couple times against Damon Kia, but Damon Kia just stopped it every time uh, they attempted to push into the back lines of C to try to just get in there. Now, this is a pistol round, a little bit different, uh, but, you know, you got to get ahead of those post plants that DRX loves to do. This is something that is quintessential DRX. They love to just get the plant down and then get, a far, get as far away from it as humanly possible because they want to just chip you down with utility. I mean, Zest was still sitting on two shock darts uh, after all of that was said and done. Mako still had a paranoia. So, you know, they were ready, but the, the retake was just too fast and furious. Now they're going to try to dash in. RB takes a shot on the way through, but DRX has bought here. Yep, going for the force, something that they've been a lot more comfortable with in this stage. Four-man wraparound coming through the attacker spawn right now for Maru Gaming. There's Mako just peeking over to the side. Does he get stunned? Teleports back, throws down a smoke. He's looking to lock them out of this position. Chief Bob thinking about leading the charge here. They start pushing through. It's going to be a two for two. Swing in, find stacks. The elimination is there. They clear out the turret. Buzz getting wicks on the back end. Swings back into the site, ends up going down, and the force buy from DRX is not going to pay off. A 2-0 start for Maru Gaming, flipping the script of what we saw on split. And both teams making pretty big changes uh, to the way that they played this. Uh, DRX Ash goes in, but he had already seen Chief Bob get that elimination. RB holding down things from Alley. Comes up with two kills. Harvey, we the stack, swings the corner. Gets the other elimination. DRX, you can never count him out. I mean, just think back to Masters with that 1v5 stacks had him bind. He's yep. just absolutely nuts. Oh, Chibop trying to play four, but the flash greets him. Buzz watching, covering for Zest. They get that elimination. And this is what DRX was looking for on the previous round, just from a different direction, from the garage instead of A. Again, Maru wants to push as much oh. space as they can early, and Buzz oh. is just ready. I mean, not yeah. Chief. What are you going to do? What are you going to do against that? Yep. Classic at hand. He just sprays the smoke. You know, I sometimes... Eh. And, uh, I mean, whatever. It's it's the eco round, you know. Guess I'll just die. <laughs> yeah, guess I'll just die. Ooh. Okay, moves. Finding himself a seventh kill, I do believe. Nice little headshot. Showing RB what's what. Gets another. How many more can he have? Well, that's it. Because <laughs> they just go ahead and double swing the corner. Mako finds the elimination. Still good damage dealt to a, a rough economy. DRX obviously not very stable yet. Mako just gonna be set. Sewers wary of the approach from behind. Double creep up now through the window as Wix and Zhonghai look to bring this back. Well, this is going to take, uh, I mean, Wix is one away. If he gets Mako here, he will have the tour de force. Maybe it can happen, okay. Mako, bit whiffy. Now with the weapons recovered, a 2v2. Maru may just be able to make this happen, but they're running low on time. Well, actually, pick that Phantom up off of the dead bodies, by off of RB's body. Yep. Swing in. Turret facing the wrong way. Not going to send shots their way. Buzz looking to hold it down. Shot fly. So high. He's given his position. And Stax will just go ahead and swing out. Catches him. Two rounds now. On the board for the side of DRX. They stay stable. Yeah, not bad at all here, though. Oh, uh, yeah. From the side of Maru, I mean, you take a lot of guns. Out of DRX's hands, and like you were talking about, the economy, not so good. Stacks had zero creds at the, after everything was bought coming into this round. Uh, Mako was sitting on a decent amount. Um, but again, you're still you're still making it look more difficult than maybe you would think it should be at times for DRX. So DRX has literally every alt available. Uh, Nakji does have the tour de force, so he's going to cut funds uh, to pop that up. And otherwise, mostly everybody a half armor buy uh, for Junghai. That fault line gonna catch members of DRX. There's an aftershock in there as well. Clips just a little bit of damage. 
into Mako and Zed. Lockdown looking to flush them back. They're still in the sight though. Makes this a little bit more peculiar. Now the Rolling Thunder comes across, does get a hit on the two, I believe. Nakshi sat inside of the cloud first. As the push comes through and it's a quick clear out. One apiece for RB sets and stacks. Spike now planted once more. It's going to be Wix and Jung Hai, the last ones left standing. Put a force at the ready. Wix can stick around and see if he finds any eliminations, but Jung Hai going to have to hold on to this rifle. Well, this is a nice job here, staggering the ultimates for the side of DRX. I mean, Wix. Let's. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait for this because and this guy's smoke. absolutely. Well, yeah, but he's absolutely nuts with the two of forces sometimes, and he might as well just play this out because of he didn't buy anything else this round, so uh, he, he might as well just go for it. Zest around the corner. That's a good spot. Oh, tries to take the shot. Can't hit RP. Now swings in. Everyone's made their exit. Gun recovered though, so he oh, can okay. back away with that. He'll decent. About his own prospects going into the next round, but DRX will be tying it up at three to three. Yeah, I mean, this is a buy round here for Maru after an eco, so uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward economically uh, for this follow up. And, and it's the way that DRX staggers the utility. I'm going to get up in the air. Good luck hitting me. Yeah, and I mean, before the spike was even planted, Cheap Op is just the complete opposite side of the map. <laughs> I'm not losing this operator, guys. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Have fun. Well, he might get a kill, and he might get a small amount of value in that respect. Unless Zest can dome him. Yeah. Zest creeping around. Does have a recon. I mean, he could throw it. He's going to. Creep up. Okay. Chibop will be able to get that elimination. They're chasing on to Wix, who will find stacks. Shot. Going to whiff. RB. Pursuing a little bit deeper. Doesn't have any until to play with. Chibop takes his head to clean off. Now it's all on Mako. Drops down and cheap up. <laughs> He'll get a 3K! But it's uh, a round loss all the same. Now 6-3 to three, the score line is DRX. Once they got the ball rolling, Maru have not been able to stop it. The Pyrrhic victory, no doubt. But, I mean, still, what are you going to do? I mean, DRX gets the site relatively for free, dodges the big ult on the way in, and that's round over, and DRX is so rich that they know that they can hunt for this op, and they and they know that if they get it, Mario's economy is going to be real devastated, and you're going to take such a big piece out of, you know, that's a great shot, but what could be a big piece out of the puzzle, out yeah. of their hands. I mean, look at the money. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, they're full buy. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Nakshi trying to play forward, trying to blast pack in with the judge. Ends up getting cut down. It's a rough start to the round now. So we'll see one there in the smoke. Moves able to find RB. Much needed opening kill is that. Mako Rolling with Thunder does get the stun out. Wix cannot make his way out of there. Chungai trying to lurk, trying to get something done, but Buzz finds two. Chibop played Storm out, will get one more, but that's about it. DRX, we're losing two. They continue to keep the win streak alive. Sorry, Mako went hell with the uh, from the shadows, but he, he just got in the back lines. Nobody registered it on the side of Maru and uh, got a couple free kills in there because of it. So again, the executes, the timing's just too good for DRX. I mean, they wait out the initial utility just a bit. There's a push forward that's attempted. Doesn't work, you know, or there's that blast pack forward by Nakji. It just doesn't go anywhere. I mean, the problem is like Jung Hai's just sat there in the corner. He's waiting, he's trying to have trigger discipline so that he can come up with a huge amount of kills. But because he waits, Buzz just pivots 180, spots him, and instantly gets that elimination. He ends up looking a bit like a fool. Four-man stack over at the C-Site, leaving only Wix at A, which right now, pretty much everybody on DRX is starting to creep up in the lobby. Already two here, swung forward in long. Yeah, and, well, <laughs> poor Wix here, you know, has the rendezvous to get out into the hallway, which just barely does. Takes a fair amount of damage on the way through. Gonna rotate up to heaven, and... Yeah, the rotations are coming through here for the side of Maru, but man, they're they're in dire straits. I mean, the, the best gun they have is a Guardian. Couple stingers in there. And good luck on this. Is Mako just going to sit there and wait uh, with the paranoia and play off of Zest's information down in sewers? Here you Cloud go. First paint shells go out. The paranoia ends up flying through. Zest, however, unable to find anything. Stacks right there. Reaction times are through the roof for him. 
And uh, yeah, absolutely, his his aim is quite good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's a good attempt by Mario once again, but you know the the the, po the executions of DRX are just better, and it's tough. DRX is hitting you from multiple angles at once. They're trying to get you from two different sides to be hit. Dash forward, Chibop. I never saw Breaking Mako. into the smoke for now, but yeah, Mako set up top. Let's get traded. Moves fine, set headshot, but Stax is good for two. Nakjik struggling to get the turret. Spectre's prey at that range. It can be difficult to control, but this game is very much out of control for Maru. Two members left with the desperation bid of this force buy. We've all been there. We've all tried to spray Tommy turret down and had it not go so good. Nakji, I mean, he gets still on the stacks. He makes it a little bit more costly, but it's nowhere close to how devastatingly, uh, you know, this is how devastating this is going to be to the economy of Maru. 2 0 start in the second half. DRX getting closer to making this a 2 0. Yeah, they're in firm control of the map once again, and, you know, Maru's trying everything they've got. But it's just not enough. Uh, DRX has such a deep playbook, and we're seeing kind of cheeky off angles from Mako here. He's using those TPs really well today on the Omen. Clearly, he's been practicing a lot of Omen for the finals. He's been all over the place. Now you've got two Bulldogs even uh, to face off against as, yeah, Maru, like you were talking about, doesn't have much money after they had to go for it. You know, feeling the pressure with the score line the way it was and losing a pistol. Let's see if they could. Bounce on back. There's that shot through the wall just to kind of get RB back up on top. Nakji gonna try to push Sewer Zest for a little bit of a little bit of assist with the Owl Drone. Fault line does hit. There's the cloud burst, but he's already seen Chibop. Chibop will be Woo! decent for one. RB trying to play so elusive. Eventually gets his wings clipped. Moves. Find the kill. The stacks are. Uh, but Maru starting to string it together. I mean, look, they're, they're a really good attacker side team. I will say this about Maru, that even though we saw in the previous, like, at the very beginning of it, they were like 51% on attacker side, like 49% on defender side or something like that. Uh, generally, the, you know, we kind of think of them as a little bit more attacker side a team. RB, though, switching over to the op, finally. Flash at the ready. See it there from moves. The swing out, he misses the shot. He's just going to take his exit. They're just going to wait this out. But they have to get onto the spike now. Mako gonna make it happen. Junk High decides to strike, but he does not stop the defuse from coming through, and there's just not a thing that Cheap Up can do here. He, in fact, will fall. Stax gets that elimination. It's a thrifty victory for DRX to stop the momentum from Maru and put another round between them. I, I just. DRX just so aware of the situation here. They knew exactly where Wix is gonna be. There's no question about it. And then they see the rendezvous in the back. They know exactly what it's for. You know, they're ready. There's a trap there. Like you said, doesn't matter. Buzz just headshots him anyway. And this lockdown's perfect. They know there's no more utility in anybody's hands that can do anything about this lockdown unless they just straight up kill DRX. So DRX able to go there. Just tell Mako, you stick it, we'll cover you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? A little bit of relief, yeah. And that's something that DRX has not felt many times this stage. Pressure. Nervousness. Anxiety about dropping a map. Maru picking up those four consecutive rounds really made them feel like uh, this was going to be the time that they finally drop one. And that this was going to end up being a tied up series. The DRX, they say no, they shut them down for now. Money is still there. Cheap out with the Blade Storm. Let's see what he can do. Anna Swarm comes down to boom bot the check. Buzz has to clear that. Signs not to reposition. Paint shells, however, might make him think a bit differently about that. Fault line used that he's already dipped out. Yeah, so uh, good timing, good senses there from Buzz. Gets a lot of utility, uh, out of the hands at least. The boom bot, the paint shells, fault line there. Uh, used temporarily, of course. Chibop did pop the blade storm. Uh, the ult from Wix as well, the tour de force is there. RB once again playing that spot behind the bricks. See what the combo is going to look like. Let's take a flash, flash and dash. Either way, in RB is backing off. He's already out. Yep. Rotates through the alley. Looks like he may want to cut to heaven. Well, for now, just going to be sitting in the link. So, if you just allow them to get into the site, swing for this. 
There's the Rolling Thunder. They're buying time. I don't know if they're going to be able to get the plant down. They have to start it now. Spray's coming through. Stacks. Flip it over to the side. What a transition. Gets moves off the left flank. You know, he's a guy who's flexible. He's he's happy to try to, you know, set you up with utility and try to make it work from there. Yeah, okay. So Wix dies. And then, you know, they do a great job here. Rolling Thunder into the push out from Chibop. Yeah. Yep. Mako. Mako getting a little happy. A little, a little, bit, a little bit of happy feet there. A little, uh, a little bizarre. A little bizarre, but <laughs> they still have this lead. They just need one more to close it. Maru, can they keep pushing? RB, operator in hand once more. Moving down through sewer. Wick's just going to be tucked away. Tailwind popped. I think Wicks is going to swing out from this position. Yeah, RB waiting with the op. And he knows. Ooh. He knows. <laughs> He's waiting. You can see there's some shots there, but this is all just a bit of a distraction as the main hit is being lined up at C. Not sure how much information DRX has on this. I don't think much based on the rotations or lack thereof that I'm seeing from them right now. And we'll see what it's going to look like. I think this is... I thought this might be a setup for a fake, but I think with the way that they're starting to angle back towards A, I think they're just going to, you know, they, they feel like there's enough space here because Wix hasn't sensed any pressure. The fault line goes out and a long lurk from RB. And it's just to come to fruition. A nice kill coming through. Now everybody's saying, okay, let's go with the original plan. Rotate the C, but Mako throws down a smoke, sussing this out. Paranoia at the ready. They wait for the hit. Limited tools, but they do still have that showstopper, and there it is. But Mako gonna shut it down. Finds Knock G Buzz in the corner. Hang up G Bop. Teleport in, jump high. Managing to find one, but Stacks arrives. Now it's him versus moves. The showdown. Let them fight. <laughs> yeah, please let the breaches duel. Everybody else just go back to spawn. Swing oh. out. And there it is, the 